You almost done? Are you almost done? Give me a sec. Come check this out. What? Come look at this. What are we looking at? Well, it's a lake. It's a nice lake. Yeah, I looked it up online. It's called White's Lake. It's kind of sketch. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Do you know the way there? Yep. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. We got lost twice in Quebec. David, it's right there. I'll find my way down. Okay, I'm just asking, because, you know, your track record's against you. What's the score, by the way? What score? Yellow car. Uh, 4-3 four, me, I think? Nope. 4-4. Four, four. No, it's 4-3. No. Yellow car. I know, it's 4-3 me. No, um... Yellow car. <sighs> David, half your yellow cars are this car. It still counts. Them's the rules. There are no rules. The game is made up. Exactly. Um, what other car games can we play? We're already playing one. Yeah, but this one's not very time filling. We don't need to fill time. Is this, are you going to be like this for the whole two weeks? Babe, I'm going to be like this for the whole three months. That's. That's great. Uh, don't worry, okay? This whole isolation thing, we have lots to do. I'll make lots of cool meals. Mm -hmm. I think I'll miss our kitchen, though. You'll be fine, babe. You can cook anywhere. Yeah, but you're lucky, you know? Like, you can find art stores anywhere. You can go anywhere you want. I'm gonna have to find a fucking cast iron somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, you, you don't have to clean Clean a cast iron? It builds a beautiful patina with each use. Okay. You know, there's a nice arts college out here, too. Yeah? NASCAD. Like OCAD, but NAS. It's a good school. Alright. Uh, you pulling up a map? No. What's that? You're listening to 92.3 FM, the big bag airways, FM, live, Halifax, Nova Scotia. I look out of the window, the city shines like a polished crown. God bless, don't forget to vote on the I wipe a tear from my eye, say a prayer, so glad to be home. Feel the slap of the runway, sit back in my seat, and I close my eyes. I'm home, home, why do I feel so alone? Carry me over the ocean and take me down to your heart. I shoulder my duffel and walk with my camel. Light up the shoe till we merge at the gate. There you are, sweet with delight, the vision of all my dreams. You're so warm, my arms. Lord, help us. We live and we breathe. Sad premonitions and long expectations. Hard rusty wheel that we turn Pluck from the flames and deliver to hope Still dreaming of cities that burn
words are locked on the breeze Lord let me out of this skin Such a threadbare fabric it is We walk the beach where the seabirds die For their prey and soar away The air grows cold as the sun recedes Holding close we stroll away Lay me down Lay me down What, uh, what time is tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Your uh, pal from Ontario. Oh God, is it Wednesday? Tomorrow is, yeah. Jeez, oh, um, it's gotta be like 10 or 11 or something, right? I'll text it to you. <laughs> okay, okay. You want to head over? Um, yeah, who are we meeting again? Delilah and her friend Meg. Who's Meg? I don't know, but I've heard she's nice. Well, um, Delilah seems like a good judge of character. What? Because she's your friend. Oh, right, yeah. So... We're meeting them at Point Pleasant. What's that? So what did they do again? Students. And which one is your friend? Delilah, you've met her. Have I? Well, on video calls. What does she think of me? <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? A Bree Scout? I'm just asking. You're acting nervous. I don't know, I, I, I feel like I've forgotten how to like behave in groups since last March. It's been a while. Oh, good, good, they're here. Uh, hi, uh, I'm the boyfriend. I'm the friend. Name's next, uh, I'm David. Meg. Yeah, nice to, yeah. How's on your you? I mean, from the Maritime. Know, it's okay, yeah. like, Sick. Where we from? love it there. I'm from Cape Breton, like, like, right following That's like what down. makes it yeah. look like Scotland, like Nova like Scotia, nice. right? Oh, like, Kinda. Yeah, yeah so. at least like, you know, I don't know. It's like when, when uh, everyone's doing it, like you're all in this together kind of thing, and it makes I don't know. go by. Faster. From what I hear, yeah, somewhere. for sure. Well, in some places, like, like yeah. definitely I've not in Ontario, been. but I've noticed like <laughs> we've only been in quarantine like from not very Brett long, and I've already I've never been so much better here. God, right. Yeah, I am so yeah. glad I've been out here all this time. Paris, I know. True. I've been yeah. so jealous every time I see pictures. Oh my god, I always feel so bad posting shit with other people. I've never. Nah. Why do you think I came out here? No. Now you are. You're out. You're here. And. uh Quarantine wasn't so bad. I mean, we're from Toronto, right? So we just uh, kept doing what we were doing. Well, we could like go on walks and stuff before. I'd be sure. Yeah. I... Hi, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Um, good to finally meet you. Yeah. Likewise. I've heard lots about you. You're a chef, right? Okay. Um, yeah, hi, trying to be. Hi. I'm. I'm yeah. just learning. Yeah, that's so cool, though. Yeah. I. Uh, you uh, yeah. What do you do? 
I serve people coffee, um, but I'm gonna be a teacher. Oh wow, uh, my mom's a teacher. Oh yeah? She teaches like at a community college back home. Oh. I, uh, I want to work with kids. Like high school? Younger. Like elementary school. Is that like primary? It's one to six. Okay, so like primary school. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's the same thing. Yeah, no, um, I want to teach kindergarten. What do you even teach kindergartners? From what I've gathered, uh, the alphabet and basic morality. So the easy stuff, right? Oh yeah, the easy stuff. Yeah. Love about you. You're a chef, right? Hi, I'm Meg. Yeah, hi, I'm Emily. Yes, uh, so cool. Dee's best yeah, friend I, from the big city. You call her Dee? Yeah, I've only ever heard her mom call her that. I know, but I uh, I did Christmas with her family last year and it just sort of caught on. Uh, Isn't Nanette the sweetest? Right? No, I love her. Oh, I wish she was my mom. God, me too. So how did you two meet? Well, I think elementary. she introduced herself to me during our orientation. Like then a couple weeks like in, both of us went to a concert at this bar in the North End. Yeah, I guess it's Together? Yeah, no, no, I was with my girlfriend at the time, and I can't remember who she was with, but afterwards I saw her outside and we sort of made eye contact because we recognized each other from class. I think we sat next to each other next lecture, and that was it, basically. Well, that's nice. Yeah, what, uh, what about you two? Oh, well, we met in grade four, and I think I had the biggest crush on her for like a year. Really? Oh, yes, it was super embarrassing. This one time, I was at the front of the class. Oh, no, wait, I think she told me about this. What, when I stapled my hand? Yes. Ugh, I was so distracted. I was trying to do something to impress her, probably, so I stapled my hand into a semi-permanent finger gun. Anyway. We just clicked. You know, once I stopped acting like an idiot around her. That's so sweet, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the sweetest. So, uh, how do you know Wes? Uh, he's a friend from school. Uh, you're younger though. Really? Yeah. He doesn't look it, does he? Nah, nah. So, uh, you like it here so far? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like... You and Em having a good time? Yeah, you know, it's like um, it's like a nice change of pace and oh, yeah? stuff. Yeah, I don't know. We've been in lockdown for so long, so it felt really sleepy. Mm. Yeah. You a big party guy or? <laughs> no. no, no, not at all. Yeah, I was gonna say. Hey, we just met. You forget. Emily talks about you. Good things, I hope. I'll never tell. Jesus. I do know you're a little old man, though. Yeah, I'm tell you that. Mm -hmm. Like uh, an old married couple, you two. Yeah, I haven't heard that one before. <coughs> oh. Oh, are you feeling anything yet? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> my tolerance really skyrocketed this year. God, I guess I'm a lightweight. <laughs> <sighs> 
little old man. banana duct taped to a wall? Just like a banana? Well, <laughs> duct taped to an art gallery wall. Maybe? Okay, yes, perfect. So that is conceptual. Because it means nothing. No, because the point of the art piece is the point it makes, not the thing itself. Okay, and what point did duct taping a banana to a wall make? Give me a second, it'll come to me. No, see that. No, seriously. If it were less like It'd be more understandable and people could... Understand it? <laughs> I don't know, I, that kind of stuff goes over my head. Yeah, I guess so. I guess the scene in Toronto is very like that, you know? Do you not like it there? No, I do. Don't tell David this, he doesn't know. But I applied to NASCAR to here a while back. Really? Yeah. Why don't you tell him? He couldn't have his career out here. He's gotta go back to Toronto. I don't wanna upset the apple cart. What do you mean? He could cook food for anyone and it'd still be food anywhere. <laughs> yeah, after telling him that. What? He's like, I don't know. He's got this whole complex. He never wants to work as like a sous chef or a line cook or anything. He just wants to skip all the steps and be a chef. You know, like all the ones he idolizes. Is that possible? According to him, yes, but he's 21 and he's never even worked in a kitchen. Plus, he wants to open his own restaurant in Toronto, so. How long have you two been together? What, David and I? Three years last month, I think. Wow, that's long term. Yeah. Is everything okay with you guys? Oh yeah, we're all right. And I think coming to Halifax was good for us. Nice change of place. Right. You know how we met? How? We were in high school, and he was trying to start some club in the home at classroom, like some cooking class or something. And I saw the sign and came out. And I was the only one who showed up, which, you know, was nice because I got to spend more time with him. So we met every Friday at lunch, and we baked cookies together every week. We even made it into the yearbook. Really? Yeah. I mean, I was the yearbook's photographer, so... That's a cute way to, like, start dating, though. Oh, no. We didn't start dating for another three years. Oh? Yeah. I mean, I liked him, but he's a man of sort of few words, especially back then, so I could never tell. He asked you eventually? I asked him. Or... I sort of yelled it at him, actually. <laughs> Three years of build-up now. That's crazy. Which part? Three years. Oh, no, no. Long relationship. No, I mean, the fact that you guys stepped around it for three years, I couldn't have waited that long. What, if you were me? Or if I was him.
Babe, do you want half a banana? Um, I don't like bananas. Morning. Hello. Um, is the... What day is it today? Sunday. Is the farmer's market like a thing today? I don't think so. Um, what's, um, um, uh, a four letter word for, um, tall, tall. Lean. Mm-hmm, lean, yeah, that's, that's one. Slim. Slim, okay. Long. Wow, there's a lot of these. Um, how a relative, uh, six letters. Like brother. Brother, seven letters. Um, cousin. Response for letters Kurt Oh, um, the market's still on No, that's just on Saturdays no, I'm looking at the site right now. They're open till one today. Do you still want to go? Did we need anything? Um, not particularly. I just wanted to go with you and get some ideas for recipes. You go without. I'm on a roll here. Um, you sure? Yeah. Okay. Um... See you in a bit then. Yep.
know. I just think kids of that age. Is it like a... Uh... They're more open. Like, receptive. Yeah? Yeah. I like that I'm not trying to convince them of stuff. So you're like, uh, I don't know. Just teaching, you know? Yeah. Like, it feels like the most honest type of teaching I can do. Like living, right? Yeah. Like, they're all just so new to all this. So yeah, like, that's, that's really fulfilling. Um, so you want kids? <laughs> Sorry? Like, like kids of your own. Oh. Um, I don't know. Really? Yeah. Like, like I definitely don't want to get married. I don't think. So I guess I'd have to, like, adopt or, you know, just go in for single parenthood. And I also don't know if that's for me. Wow. Um, Did that surprise you? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know. I just figured because... You seem to love kids so much. Um, why don't you want to get married? Well, when my dad left my mom, I got sort of disenchanted with the whole marriage shindig. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, um, no, don't be. Uh, my dad and I still chat and stuff, but I don't know. I live with my mom full time. Nanette, right? That's my mom. Yeah, I'm just talked to her up, you know, so. Are you... What else are you up to today?
How are you doing? Good. Uh, what were you up to? What? What were you doing? I'm not. Oh, um, I worked on my sketchbook today. Oh, nice. What did you do today? Uh, I, I was at the grocery store. What? Uh, I got us some pork chops. You got? I got us some pork chops. But where did you go after? We got home late. What? Where did you go after? I was with Delilah. Delilah? Yeah. Oh no, nothing. Hey, see? She's okay. I don't know. Maybe, like, I should go. I. What are you talking about? I don't want to talk about it here. We can go over each other. They're not listening. I. I don't care. I hate when people do stuff like this. Meg, like what? Is Meg okay? Uh, probably. I hope so. What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong? Oh, no, I'm okay. You seem quiet. I don't mean to be, just tired, probably. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh... You okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's up? I'm tired. Can we think of a better excuse than I'm tired? I am tired. I am too. I don't look like I want to kill myself. I'm fine. Jesus. Between you and Meg. What's wrong with Meg? She's tired. I like your shirt. Thanks. I uh, got it at a thrift store. Yeah? It's a nice find. You gotta take me thrifting out here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know any good spots. Everything in Halifax is like a boutique. Best place is the Value Village if you don't want to pay a ton. Well, where's that? Uh, there's one out in Bears Lake, but the closer one's across the water in Dartmouth. Didn't David tell you? No. Oh. Why? Uh, he and Delilah were there the other day, I think. They went to Dartmouth? Yeah, I don't envy them. Well, anywho, you'll have to take me. That'd yeah. be a fun adventure. Just the two of us? Yeah. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, school work. Meal planning? Yeah, I need this menu done by Tuesday. What kind of food? You don't want to hear about it. What is with you? Nothing. I've just been feeling kind of weird lately. You had one drink. No, not like that. Then like what? You and Em looked miserable all night. Do you always just keep going? Yes! Now, what's wrong? Nothing. Maybe we should go for a drive or something. Clear our heads. We?
long you take it, you go. I started reading a new philosophy book. Really? Yeah. Uh, what book? Plato's Republic. Really? <laughs> yeah. What do you think so far? It's interesting. I mean, it goes over my head a little bit. I mean, it is dense reading. True. But I like the way it's written. Like a dialogue. It makes the ideas easier to wrap my head around. I read that in an, uh intro ethics course last year. Well, you'll have to sit me down and explain all the words I don't get. Sure. <laughs> you can uh, send me some passages. Will you please tell me what's going on now? Huh? First last night, now here. You're not being yourself. We haven't known each other that long, Delilah. I... <laughs> Fine. I... Then you're acting weird. I don't know. Um. I don't know. David! Things between me and Emily have been weird for like a couple... No, I can't tell you this. You're like... Well, you're like <laughs> friends with her. It's like weird. <laughs> Who else are you gonna tell? I don't know. <sighs> no, I... It's okay. I... I wanna know. Do you know what's going on with David? What? He seemed weird. I mean, he's your boyfriend. I don't really know him. Yeah, but you know Delilah, and they've gotten... whatever. If you don't know, then... What about you? What about me? And David. You and David. Oh. It's been weird, you know? And him and Delilah hanging out the other day? Yeah, it doesn't help. You worried? About what, David cheating? No, he never. I don't know. I guess I'm just feeling insecure about the whole thing. No, I, I get it. Unsure. Yeah. I just don't... None of this feels the way it used to. What do you mean? Like, when we used to talk, it felt like the easiest thing in the world. You want to know how the two of us met? So I was in high school. We were in high school, right? And I started this, like, club for home chefs. Uh, and a couple people came out, including her. Eventually, it was just us two, though. Yeah. I don't really know why she stuck around. So yeah, so because of that, we hung out like two or three times a week. I liked her for over a year, but I, I didn't do anything. I was too nervous. Still like that, huh? I guess so. <laughs> I just wish things could be the same. How they used to be. Like this. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, um... I 
David's the only relationship I've ever had, so... Really? Yeah. Didn't date before high school. Didn't date in high school either, though, so... But you've only ever dated David? You never took breaks or anything? Nope. Wow. <sighs> what do you think? You know what I think. No, I don't. For God's sake! Do you not notice something? No, I don't. I... Well, I do. I... I like you. Okay? And... And... I don't think you're happy with M anymore. And it breaks my heart, but... Maybe you need to hear it. I... I can't. Did you have fun? Yeah. Remember when we used to make each other laugh? What? I said, remember when we used to laugh together? What do you mean? Things seem... Oh, David, babe, don't you notice anything? You seem like you do. Uh, I do. Um... We don't laugh together anymore. No, um... I miss when we did. Exactly. I'm worried about us. Um... Okay, so what are we doing wrong? Well... Is it me? I don't know. It might be both of us? Yeah. yeah. You think it's both of us? Maybe, um... David, come on! Well, I, I don't know, I don't think it's just me. Maybe we've just been spending too much time together? It's been a long quarantine. Yeah, that's of... that's probably part of it. It's like a, David, uh, come on. You've oh, got to help me out here. Oh, okay, well, I, I don't think we have real conversations anymore. Um, like, we never experience anything together anymore. We just kind of go through them. We should have date nights, maybe? Go out together like we used to? Yeah, we gotta watch the money. I do miss that though. Going out? We've been dating for so long that we've stopped dating. Doesn't that happen to everyone though? Uh, yeah, if you let it happen. I don't think that's fair. No, I'm not blaming you. I don't think you. it's fair to put this all on me. I'm, not I'm, while you and- I, I'm not putting and, any- I'm not putting anything on you. I'm just- I feel like neither of us are really listening anymore, you know? Maybe. Um, I feel like we just started prioritizing living our own lives rather than living in each other's. Well, it's hard when you've been together as long as we have. Well, it's, it's not even that. It's like I, I met you when you were 17 and I was... You were 18, I was 17. Yeah, like, we're in our 20s now. Shit changes, right? Yeah. You grow in that time, right? Like, grow apart? No, like, why do we act like we're gonna die when we're 25? What? I'm 21, Em. 
Like none of us have it figured out at 21. I've never met anyone like that. I guess. You know, we're still figuring this shit out. Yeah. We've got time. I don't know. Are you kidding? Em, I hate to break it to you, but... You don't think he's attractive. If you think he's attractive, then you got terrible taste in men. Well, I guess you got that right. <laughs> so I guess this works. Hmm? Going on a date. Uh, you had fun? Did you have fun? Yeah! I... <laughs> Me too. Uh... It's beautiful. So are you.
So, what do you do today? Nothing. Okay. What did you do today? I... Our days were very similar. What do you mean? I... Also did nothing. Okay. How's Delilah? Are we gonna stop pretending now? Pretending what? That the last few weeks hadn't happened. I don't know what you're talking about. That's bullshit, Emily, okay? You and Meg, I'm not fucking blind. Right. Like you and Delilah haven't... Haven't what? Say it. Haven't fucked? That's besides the point. Is it now? Yeah, a bit hypocritical, don't you think? Where were you last night? Where were you last night? I should have said something when I said. Where started. were you last night, David? Uh, you weren't there, you wouldn't know. Where were you last night, David? I was at Delilah's. I was at Delilah's and... Could you get it up for her? You have Meg's, okay? Fuck you! Fuck you! You fucking cheated on me! So did you! So? So, uh, you cheated on me, why do you get to be mad? Because you still did it! Besides what I did, you still chose to do it! Uh, you were with Meg, so- Literally, how is what I did worse than what you did? I didn't want- What? Did I force you? No, I- 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 I did it, and you did it, and they did it, and look where I we are now. I can't fucking believe this. Three years down the drain. Oh, I do one fucking thing. One fucking thing? David, do you even hear yourself? One thing that you did too, okay? And I don't want to hear that the last three years were for nothing. Well, if it's this how it ends, then yeah. Is this how it ends? I don't know. Yeah, fuck it. You cheated on me. It's over. You cheated on me! Uh, not for three years, okay? You can't pin however many months or years of problems we've had. I'm a girl I met three weeks ago. You made ago. this whole fucking trip so frustrating. I couldn't- Who what? Who what? Couldn't talk to you? Uh, couldn't... Of course you could talk to me. It's not my fault you didn't want to talk to you me. You were barely even here with your going off with Delilah. Well, what, what could have you possibly wanted to say? Well, I got into NASCAD for one. Okay, accepted. I don't care. I already did. Great. I'm not gonna apologize. No, no. Why? Why would I get in your way? And on your way out, only just, only just fuck someone on your way out. Oh my God! I get it. Oh, do you? Cause it's kind of a big deal. Is it really? Yes. I was being sarcastic, David. Emily, we had problems that we weren't dealing with. Yeah, like you fucking Delilah. You fucked Meg. Are you? Steamrolling me? We always have to do always things your way. Always playing the victim, always, because you hate feeling You're guilty. You're an asshole. You're cold and mean. I can't be myself around you. Uh, I can't open up around you. This isn't what I wanted. Oh, you think this is what I wanted? I don't like this. Neither do I. So are you? Yeah, I didn't sleep very well. The couch is not very comfortable. Yeah. The bed felt too big. You know they exiled all the Acadians to that island? All of them? Well, not all of them. Some of them. A lot of them. During the Seven Years' War, they imprisoned them there. Interesting. Yeah. Is that before they put the lighthouse up? Yeah, like a century before. Why? Uh, I don't know. Um... I feel like I've just been coming down here a lot. Yeah. 
the lighthouse, you know, I look at it, it guides ships into the harbor, it's welcoming, it's like it's letting you know you're safe. I don't know, I couldn't imagine that place being a prison. You know, when my Nono and Nana came over from Italy, they landed in Halifax on a boat. Yeah? Yeah. Took a train to Ottawa, then another one to Toronto. I didn't know that. No. Maybe that's the lighthouse that welcomed them in. Maybe. I think you'll stay in Halifax? Maybe. Probably not. Yeah. I'll miss you. I've missed you. I've missed you too. Three brothers. 